A little bit more of a general rivalry between organizations. This is mm -hmm. sponsorship versus sponsorship in the city yep. for Sheiks. Um, uh, E2C well, also has Tyroy. Uh, Akira went Bayonetta. Oh, Akira's going to bail? Oh. Yeah. Okay, so Akiro, this is a thing he used to do when he was around every week. Uh, in the winner's side, he would bust out secondaries. I've seen him bust out Zelda. Like, he, this man oh, does yeah. not care. Yeah, this is, this is definitely a kind of a, a frisky pick. Uh, he does that because he is so confident in his ability to win sets against like everybody. Mm -hmm. He's just like, tell you what, if you can beat my secondary, I'll bust out my main. Yeah. This is the way he is. Yeah, he obviously has, he has two sets to work with. He has a lot of games. Yeah, he's not the biggest fan of the Ditto, though he does fair, do well in it fairly frequently. Although the last time he had to do a major Ditto, he actually lost to his own sponsorship team point, mm -hmm. Tyroid, uh, at Nash Fest 2 in the Losers Finals, which was a really good five-game set. Mm -hmm. um, so this is not a, not a dominant counterpick so far. Obviously, Big Mac has a little bit of a lead here. Um, Big Mac... Surprisingly, probably knows the matchup pretty well because Sage plays Bayonetta, <laughs> and Bayonetta is just Cat from PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Like so, literally, just the character that I think Sage not not main but knew really well. Mm -hmm. You did main? Yes. Oh, we've That's been witch time. B -b -b bye bye. I was about to say, you know, maybe, you know, hopefully he would know better than to get hit by uh, Bayonetta shenanigans, but everyone gets hit by that shenanigans. It's not that simple. Everyone yeah. says, like, hey, don't don't get don't countered. It's like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to just sit there and shield grab the whole game? Like, Bayonetta, which time is clearly a perfectly fair and balanced move that you only pay $5.99 <laughs> in the Nintendo eShop for, and you, too, can be in winner's finals. Or grand finals yeah. of a tournament. Now, which time is one of those moves that, like, you get countered by it? And if it functioned similarly to every other counter, and or it didn't leave them prone for as long as it does, it might not be the same amount of difficulty to deal with that a lot of players have. Mm -hmm. But being what the move is just kind of allows you to set up into it. If you mash buttons, you are just going super slow. But yeah. technically, you can, like, clank with a smash attack. Mm -hmm. That was the, the drawback that Nintendo made to allow that to happen. <laughs> It's really strange playing against Bayo and very unexplored character. Yeah, I mean Nintendo. <laughs> the slow motion vanish, nice. Uh, Nintendo, I mean with Corn and Bayo, they obviously decided, you know, let's put counters that are actually good in this game. Yeah, it's um, been a long time since we've had one, and um, so we're, we're we're just seeing how it works out. So far, it's I mean people people use it. I don't think it's dominating by any means, but it's scary, and I think people are finally learning that you you kind of have to respect a, a counter character. Um, I think Corns is scary, but beatable. Mm -hmm. I think that Bayo's actually is a dominant move. Like, you can kill somebody at 60 because you go counter you, fully charge smash attack. Mm -hmm. And there's literal zero you can do if you mash wrong, going at like 1 64th of the speed. Uh, this game's very close, by the way. Um, yeah, uh, we've but... talked a lot about Bayonetta, but not about the game itself. <laughs> um, Big Mac and Akiro have been playing each other pretty even. Uh, forward throw, not quite going to kill. That requires about 140, I'd say, with this yeah, much rage. And, and from the middle of the stage as well. Yeah, that was also a part of it. I think a, he's, now it's a little stale, but I think if he gets it on the edge of the stage, it, he will kill with it. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, Dallas and Fish is going to kill with authority. Point blank. Look uh, how happy Big Mac is that yeah. he won. Holy crap. I've never seen his face just go, oh, <laughs> wow, I did it. Yeah, I mean, you got to feel good about coming out, you know, coming into grand finals and taking the first game, uh, he, especially against uh, a character, you know, that might have been able to cheese you out a little bit. Survival. It's all. It's always good to win win that game against, you know, if what, this, what someone thinks is a counter pick. If this was six months ago when Akira lived here full time, Big Mac and Akira would be one of the best rivalries in the state. Mm -hmm. It legitimately would be. Survival. Maybe Akira will bust out like a Ganon or a Zelda or some BS. <laughs> He's got a bunch of random characters. Uh, he needs oh, no. a, a name counter pick. Big cheese. Big, big cheese. The big cheese. Big cheesy. All right, I can get behind big cheesy. <laughs> but he's changing his, uh, some of his movesets. Is this for Bayo? 
I feel like it's not for Bayo. He might be playing Ganon. We'll see. Survival. He's staying Bayo. Uh, Big Mac obviously staying Sheik. All right. Uh, so Akira uh, obviously thinks that there's some some opportunity here. I think Akira just wanted to try something new with the settings. Yeah. <laughs> I love that he'll do that in Grand Finals. Just be like, hmm, I wonder if jump on the L and tilt stick will work better. Like, well, what, Akira? You can't just <laughs> do that. But he does it. Uh, and he goes to Lila. And I mean, like we were saying earlier, this can be a really good stage for uh, Sheik. Lilat's interesting because it really helps Sheik in certain matchups. However, this is not a matchup like with Diddy specifically. Mm -hmm. You had the banana would get beaten by the platform. Diddy had to land awkward waves with Bayonetta. Bayonetta might also take huge advantage from Lilat. Um, imagine which timing an up smash as you land. Mm -hmm. Like, there's some crazy things you can do. I imagine that the platforms on Lilat make it easier for him to get combos going. Um, although it does take away the side B easiness, but he has been liking that up tilt and doing a lot with it in this set. So oh, maybe yeah. that's his goal is to get up tilt. No, that up tilt has obviously done uh, some work for him. Uh, it's, it's something he can just throw out whenever he's uh, on the platforms above. Uh, no witch time yet, and uh, Big Mac uh, scoped out the one time Akira did it. Uh, so I'm sure he's, he's on the lookout. I mean, a counter can be frustrating to play against, but as the player with it, it is still kind of hard to hit. Mm -hmm. as, a, as Big Mac gets the very last frame hit of that up air, and gets the kill at probably perfect percent. All right, so Big Mac at a high percent oh. vanishes wisely on stage. That was actually a really smart recovery. Yeah, good. Uh, obviously surprised Akiro there. I don't know if he did it on purpose either. Oh, reads the witch time. Yeah, no, Big Mac's on, on the lookout, and uh, Akira really hasn't shown how he's going to get KO's without witch time. No, he has not. And you know what? Big Mac's been reading a lot of things very well, and he gets the clean two stock on yeah. Akira. Big Mac is up two games to zero. Yeah. Uh, on I this mean, man's. On the counter pick, you know, and it's. That the, the can't, the can't be good for the Bayo. Akira's still working on that Bayo. It's still free, <laughs> clearly, as he is down 2-0. Yeah. As far as I know, he is 0-2 with it in bracket today. Yeah. We'll have uh, to see how uh, he's sticking with it. Um, you know, he might be he might be willing to go the whole way with it for this. He, he this doesn't side. care. If if Big Mac resets, he'll just be like, all right, I'm gonna play Sheik. Yeah. And if he loses, he loses. It's just the way his mentality is. There's nothing wrong with trying new things. Yeah. If you're that good. All right. Omega Pyros Pyrosphere. Not a. You know, you don't see Omega uh, Satan that much to begin with. So again, Big Mac just taking the lead, getting damage, uh, and Akira not really having a way in right now. It's just kind of he's kind of throwing moves out and and hoping they connect, I guess. Well, um, he's not playing any. He's not doing anything new. Is the mm -hmm. problem like he? You have FD. You can take full advantage of side B's on this stage. Mm -hmm. He hasn't been throwing them out a ton. He's been going for, you saw there, he went for the hard up B read. Mm -hmm. He really likes that up tilt, I've noticed as well. And Big Mac's just kind of been reading the things that he tries to do. Bayonetta, and really any character in the history of Smash that is decent, when they first come out, everyone just classifies it as jank. Mm -hmm. So this Bayonetta jank that he's not used to, he's doing a pretty good job of dealing with. Like Again, he got, reads that witch time, he's not falling for it. It looks like these test games with Sage have been paying off dividends. And again, like, Akira just hasn't shown how he's going to get a KO. Uh, Sage says that Big Mac basically knows when Witch Time's coming. And that's a really good thing to have in your corner. Like, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> most people don't. Yeah, he certainly got the read now. Uh, and he, he's just getting KOs with just like raw bouncing fish, like nothing fancy. This is well, Bayonetta's uh, recovery has to be a set amount of linear to be safe mm -hmm. in some cases, and it looks like Akiro has been favoring specific types of recovery. And Big Mac has read this 
and adapted accordingly in a very, very strong way. Mm -hmm. But right now, it's been... It's been really good for Big Mac. Yeah. Um, if you think back now, Big Mac hasn't lost a stock since game one. Yeah, no, he's, I mean, this just does not seem like uh, a winning matchup for Akiro. The raw forward smash. He saw the witch time, punished it. Oh, wow. He went deep, and all of that was well-timed. Oh, great spot dodge. He went for the down smash. <laughs> I haven't seen a chic down smash in a bracket in, like, maybe a month. And that was probably a missed input. Great power shields. Uh, Big Mac's feeling himself right now. I mean, he obviously has this matchup down, but his, his execution is really crisp and his defense is on point. Uh, tries for a little bit of shenanigans there. Actually knocks Theo off, uh, preventing really any kind of punish. Yeah. Vanish, among other things, has a win box. <laughs> yeah. A uh, uh, great move that does anything and everything you need it to. You want to recover, you want to do damage, you want to push someone away. Just, uh, Catching him with the bouncing fish, and, and that's, that's gonna it. do it. No, back to back clean two, two stocks. stocks, and McMuffin with the dance in the back, <laughs> trolling a hero for no reason. Uh, so uh, that's set one. Uh, All right, so now we're gonna see the reset. You're gonna see the reset, and you're gonna see the character switch. Now you're gonna get to see which a hero dislikes the most, and that is the Sheikdom. Unless, unless he's sticking wow. Him. Well, he did have a wow. costing counter pick, uh, and that costing counter pick might be All right, Akira. game changing. It's unlikely to be good. You know what, secondary or not, this would be a huge upset for Big Mac. Oh, for sure. This is a... Uh, this, this would definitely be an impressive win. So, I mean, we need to see, I mean, obviously, <laughs> quite a few, a lot of adjustments. Uh, this Bayo needs to get KOs without... Either it needs to find a way to get Witch Time, or needs to get KOs without Witch Time. Because uh, obviously this, you know, he can put damage on. He's not really, he's not struggling too much with that. Uh, Bayo has big hitboxes, good combos, uh, but it's just really kind of finishing stock style. That's the problem. I wonder if Akiro knows that Big Mac knows this matter. He might be starting to sense something's off a little bit by now. I mean, I have to imagine after, you know, a whole set, uh, and, you know, he's, he's got to know that Big Mac's not new to this. He's, and Big Mac's not going to fall for the really obvious stuff. And there's an SD. That's a bad suicide from Akira, especially after this man just blew you back 3-0 yeah. in, in the other half of Grand Finals and two-stocked you twice. I have to wonder if another two-stock is going to be it, if that would prompt the, the, uh, the character switch. Some good extra credit already. Uh, not capitalizing on that up tilt. I mean, it seems like he can that up tilt starts some things for him, but it's just not working. I'm about 99% sure that if Big Mac takes this stock, he would be the first Chicago player in history to two-stock a hero three straight games in a bracket. Po uh, very possibly. Oh. oh, there's the witch time. Finally catching that kind of... Uh, well, there goes that. <laughs> yeah. It was close, though. And there's nothing wrong with just being in the lead. Uh, yeah, good. 100% 100, 100 lead here. And the up smash. Big Mac takes game one after the reset. I mean, this is this is this is going from this is going from you know fun times with Bayonetta to like possibly losing the tournament. Just going with fun times with Bayonetta to wait a minute that Bayonetta is free as hell. <laughs> Akira's got to stop this. He's staying with Bayonetta. He's he's got the costume picks, mate. He's just trying to find the right costume. He I just guess. must really hate that chic ditto. Really hate that chic ditto. All right, two, we'll see how it goes. One, go. uh, he at least got a stock off, so he's, he, now he's got the right costume. Oh, a good opening. This is—I mean, that, that's that's how Bayo's supposed to look. Watch Akira just all of a sudden go. Wait, I was just kidding. Here's all this tech you've never seen. I mean, hit a seventy-nine zero. This would be uh, this would be a really gross comeback if he just dominated. Yeah, that would be something else. That would be demoralizing for Big Mac. Oh, for sure. I, I don't actually want to see something like that. And that's from somebody who supports Akira. For him to just be like, wait, by the way, I was just screwing with you. Here's stuff. Oh, good. Cha uh, challenging that balancing fish. 
He's just playing more patient this game is what's happening. Uh, that again, was a random witch time. The witch time just not working, working for him. Big Nuts too, too wary. Uh, and he's slowly, he's, he's, he's crawling back, and it's not looking as dominating for this uh, Bayo. No, it's not. But both of these characters are like, I caught you with something, and I'm going to combo you to all hell. Like, if you really think about it, Akira's gotten maybe three solid reads this game, mm -hmm. and Big Mac's gotten two, and that those are the percents. Yeah. Uh, good shield on the up smash on the platform. The And then, uh... I guess the reverse bouncing fish is what you would call that? Yeah. Good needles, just making making sure he's not comfortable off stage. That up air through battlefield side is so strong. <laughs> like that covered so much space. <laughs> uh, so pretty close right now. Either of them could uh, could get a stock at pretty much at any point. Uh, um, and now we're looking at Bayonetta has has more mo many more KO setups right now. Many more KO throw. Not, not quite. quite. Oh boy. That's about as close as it gets. Uh, that can't have been good. Ooh. But there you go. Yeah, Nair will do it. Nair's very strong. It's hard to connect with. Yeah, and I mean, when you get, you know, 150 plus, uh, a lot of things will kill you. So, I mean, this could be the comeback. Good, good punish out of that shield. Bad grab. Oh, man. Uh, Big Mac not looking quite as crisp with that run-up with grab. No, not right now. And Akiro's just simply playing oh. safer and better smash than he was before. Mm -hmm. He, he might have figured something out. Again, though, that witch time is just not working. Uh, but that raw bouncing fish will. <laughs> and that's been working for him this entire grand finals. So they're kind of dancing around. She with a little bit of a lead, but not much. Pretty even right now. Uh, both, uh, obviously, it's been a neutral situation. Bayo comes with the combos. Bayo combos, yo. That's 599, baby. <laughs> Oh. Again, which time? That would that not work. Has he hit what? Maybe one which time? It was early too. He is not. Uh, I think he hit one off stage a game or two ago against a bouncing fish, but it's uh, the failure rate's pretty pretty oh, significant. That was gutsy, challenging that. Oh yeah. I don't know if there's a hurt box on side B though. It might just be the most busted thing. Or throw a bouncing fish. Not quite. Good DI. Oh, he's got the trump. Didn't capitalize. Oh, trying for a, a saucy win there with the boot. So I know this isn't part of the game and that this game is kind of hype right now. <laughs> but I see Sage and Technique laughing. And I'm guessing Bo Scotty's saying something in chat. Ooh, forward throw? Turbo Almost. DI? Not going to do it. Again, with that challenge, he's really using that, uh... This game is close. This game is close. I'm waiting for Big Mac to throw out the Randy up smash. Is that gonna do it? Almost. Not, not yet. I'll throw. Be it. Oh, Reach the time. witch time! It's no, it doesn't oh. kill, though. Wow! They was a, a light character. They pull far. Battlefield, yo. It's a big yeah, stage. Yeah, that, that was definitely Battlefield coming to the rescue. Side B. There it's we the go. Air. Oh my god. Wow. All right. What is happening? Well, this can't be good for either. This, it's got to be tense. Uh, Forward throw. There we go. There you there go. go. Oh, man. Just With room to spare. He's laughing him into at space. it. Like, why was that game so long? <laughs> oh my god. I just read the chat. Bo's such a savage. Oh my god. I'm sure someone has already screenshotted that and posted it in the Facebook forum. There's no way that no one has done that yet. And if they haven't, someone will. So that's good stuff. This is a glimmer of hope for Akira today in that, uh, I mean, that was close. That was not a dominating win by any means. But it did suggest he could uh, possibly win this. Uh, back to Lilat, obviously, uh, Big Mac uh, won the last match they had here. 
bad a look. Welp. All right, Akira. Uh, Big Mac. All right, Akira's bayonetta against Big Mac right now is making Big Mac look like the hero of Chicago, yeah. and Akira look like one of those scrubs that comes through Bragg and is like, hey, I barely squeezed the game. We're going to game three. Man, wow. Big, Big Mac got, has gotten some critical SDs against JJ and Akira. Uh, I don't want to put, you know, I'm not saying he deserves an asterisk on this week. but No, uh, not even close, because here's the thing about Big Mac. For all the times he's given those free suicides to other people, yeah. he was due to have a couple come his way. Yeah. That's just the nature of the beast. Mm -hmm. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it just shows you, you got, you, even at, at high levels of play, it's, this is a game where people just SD. This is a game it where happens. people get bat with ins and twitch <laughs> times for the low, low price of $5.99. <laughs> Goes for the vanish, uh, doesn't quite get the read. You know what Akiro hasn't done at all, uh, particularly for the way that Big Mac, ooh, gets the witch time. That's it. Finally gets one of the witch times. Not once has Akiro gone for a forward smash off stage and mm. the angle that Sheik has been trying to recover, a lot of them would have hit. Yeah. Uh, he's not out the smashes now, but you're right. Like he's he's really let Sheik come back, um, you know, trying to get the, the kind of guard on stage as opposed to off. Big Mac knowing the timing on side B up tilt to grab through it before the up B. Scary. So Akiro bringing it back from this uh, really bad deficit. You realize if he hits one witch time, then That's Big over. Mac loses. Yeah, this is a this would be a, a not only a big comeback, but it suggests the next few matches. Up air, gonna take it. Yeah, even with the di. Akira shaking his head like, man, I outplayed you, but I suicided at ten. Yeah, so we're going to game four. So what is that? It's two two one, Big Mac. This is a tournament tournament game for Big Mac. Hero looking at the character select screen. He's, he's not quite sure. He's gonna do it. He's not gonna throw the money away. Why wouldn't he? Why would he? Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is what you said he'd do. He'd, he'd play it until the end, and then he'd he'd switch if he needed to. No, nope. you're on tournament game. Now you need to switch. We're gonna have a sheik ditto, ladies and gentlemen. Except now Akira's gotta go in and just right back to sheik. Big Mac has been playing sharp yeah. on his Sheik point. Let's see how well he knows the ditto. Uh, so Akira, the blue Sheik, uh, it's got to be a little scary for Big Mac. I mean, obviously, Akira's kind of the premier Sheik in the area, and, and Big Mac's no slouch, but he's, he's got to know it's going to be tough. Well, that's true, but he's only got to win one out of two, yeah. and that's very doable. And you've come this far. Great pivot grab there. So, Hero widening the lead here. I wonder if JJ is sitting there watching going, hey man, why didn't you play Bayo against me? <laughs> Ooh, bad dodge into the ground there. Well, Kira like, willing to play this pretty patiently. Obviously doesn't want to get up close, doesn't want to like get in scrambles. That's, that's not where she really wants, and the Ditto really wants to be. Ooh, hits, he hits Big Mac with the Big Mac combo. <laughs> He's going to have a fries and a large Coke with that order, and that will be a little bit more money than $5.99. Yeah, he, he returned to that, so that didn't work out for him. The forward tilt from Big Mac to get Akira out of there. Akira not really letting Big Mac breathe much this game, which is the opposite of what was happening with Bayonetta, where he was like, I'll recover for free, I'll do whatever I want, I'll set you up into nasty things. Yeah, no, Akira has gotten the lead, and he's really just kind of made himself a presence uh, in kind of a scary and aggressive uh, way. Great grab, Na uh, nailing the back here. there. Not gonna work. <laughs> also not gonna work. Let's just throw two out just for fun. Uh, so we've almost got the lap. 2% from the lap. Oh no, we got the lap. Five. Nope. Good DI. No lap though. 
anymore. For a minute, he was going the, the wrong way. And now he is again. <laughs> Big Mac, that is not the right direction. Not when you've been up this much. Now he's, he's trying way too hard. He's not trying to condition or bait a hero. A hero just gets the spot dodging, and Big Mac's going for his own combo. Yeah, I mean, Big yeah. Mac needs the, the stock, obviously, but it's, uh... It, you're not going to succeed by getting desperate to get a player like this. Good bouncing fish. All right. Big Mac putting a hero on his tournament stuff. This is a... Uh, yeah, this could, I mean, this could still end badly. Uh, Kiro has certainly uh, uh, lost a few stocks suddenly. This, uh, he set. does eat a bit, and I don't know if you remember, a hero might remember now, but remember he changed his controls on this tag for Bale? I don't know if he did. He might have. He, he did. He, he changed them? Well, well it, it's He changed to L to jump and tilt stick on. All right, well, let's see how So works, I'm right? wondering if he realized that after the game started. I'm sure. I'm sure he. Had, he uh, I'm sure he did. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was. That was, that was a name change, not a control change. Yeah. So, uh, Kiro just playing safe. He's keeping staying outside. Uh, of course, then I say that, and he throws out a bouncing fish. Like the most random one. Like Kiro's actually playing off of his back foot all of a sudden. All right. Now this is this is all of a sudden a bad look. This is possibly the turn end of the tournament. Yeah, all like tilt. Uh, you know, vanish read off a of grab tilt. Max rate. Uh, uh, Big Mac would, uh, has got to want this. He does not want to take another. Uh, you oh know, God, another no! Game. You don't want a game five. But if Big Mac can pull it off, That'll oh no! It. Forward tilt kills at 180. Kiro does not look happy about that. No, he hates this ditto. <laughs> like for somebody who plays the character, man, he really hates the character. <laughs> I mean, dittos can be frustrating. I think uh, yeah. in any fighting game, but in Smash especially, uh, it's it's just really volatile. Uh, I, you know, there's no counter. You know, there's no counter pick. All every stage is equal for everybody. It's 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 tough. It is, especially Sheik, who just throws out so many hitboxes, who has so many tricks, and uh, you know, you can't take as advantage. You know, if you're in needle range, they're in needle range. It's Sheik is the equivalent of melee Marth. Nobody liked the Marth ditto. Because yeah. everyone in Melee was like, oh, I have this broken, disjointed sword <laughs> hitboxes that I can throw out. Wait a minute, you have it too? That's not fair. And it's the same thing with Sheik. It's like, all of my moves are fa frame five or shorter. Like, yeah. deal with it. So this is uh, the last game of the tournament. We'll go to either Big Mac or Akiro. Uh, Akiro, uh, as expected, probably, uh, showing that his Sheik counterpick was uh, the right idea. Um, yeah, going to game five, and Akiro takes more advantage of Smashville things than Big Mac does, traditionally. Um, although Big Mac does have a fair train all the way off the stage on JJ today. But just naturally, Akiro really likes you know, bouncing fish kills a little bit better. Where Big Mac is very much an off-the-roof kind of guy. Mm -hmm. It is a really even stage for both of these things. So I don't think there's either com complaints from either character. Either player. Uh, very even this game. Uh, the percentage is really, really tight. Both of them just kind of nailing each other with uh, stray, stray aerials. Big Mac's looking clean today. Not going to quite take the stock, just a little bit off on percent. Ooh, Either Akira Trump. needed to be over 100 or his rage needed to be. But that random bouncing fish Dro will dropping take the, the shield. Uh, maybe maybe a, he missed up, uh, messed up the perfect shield. Maybe he just didn't realize what was happening. And Big Mac really, after taking, or having his first stock take in game four, he's kind of been playing better in the Sheik Ditto overall mm -hmm. since then. So this is looking pretty good for Big Mac. Uh, he's looking like he could walk away with first place. Catches him with the Vanish. Gonna kill, and we're gonna be last stock. This is the stock of champions. Game five, grand finals. Need to see a hero versus you are Big Mac. Wow, well, all of a sudden, pretty close again. I don't think this, this game was ever like not dead even. It's gonna come down to who gets the ending read. So, which one of these players really can clutch it out today? They're just going blow for blow here. Uh, really great, really great shields. Really great dodges. 
Um, Mark Morgan has a little bit of a lead here. Very minor. And no longer. And that might happen a few more times. Got the balloon just for, for a few extra points. Well, uh, Akiro has Big Mac kind of playing back a little bit. Starting yeah. to blow him back this stock for sure. Oh, he almost Ooh. got forward tilt into stock. It was very close. Big Mac jumping delayed. away, so, uh, very smart there. Yeah, th that's what those smarter players usually do in those situations. Like, we got to get away from it. But now both players really close here. Um, Big Mac going to be looking for some form of grab into maybe an attempted vanish. Yeah. You'll see a hero uh, in, a, in a lot of situations. Uh, if he doesn't feel like he's got the advantage, he just runs back. He just resets it to neutral. Goes for the up air. Nope, Good not DI. quite. And Catches him with the vanish. And be it. So close, but Akiro going to take first place on the 21st birthday of Ignition here at Ignite Gaming Lounge. You are Big Mac going to take second. JJ, JJ Rock is going to take third, and the unsponsored Mick Muffin in fourth place. Um, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I am such a large man. <laughs> I am giant. Guys, quick sign off. Uh, no problem.